this is where I would bury Stalin and murder her if I did it. Now all I have to do is roll her into the grave, cover it up, and make sure I take everything with me. Yeah, I just, I sort of wish there was that strong female lead. Some mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, someone likable. Yeah. I just can't sit back and wait for permission from some guy to make a movie. You know, nobody wants you to make a movie as much as you want to make one yourself. Just make it happen. I would walk people through how I would commit the perfect murder. You my scary girl? <laughs> I'm scouting locations for the next scene of the film. Ground floor apartment, perfect. I'll come back later when it's time to complete the next, next step, breaking and entering when the occupant is home. Lean in, baby. Murder is probably not realistically depicted on television, so I would do some Googling first. All the best serial killers are unpredictable. They look at the criminal profile they're forming, and they strike outside of it. I could unwittingly reveal too much about myself psychologically by my choice of targets. It's pretty clever, right? There's no movie that is worth hurting someone for. There are just real benefits to killing a bad person. If you get a good movie out of it, that's an additional advantage. I'm so good at murdering, it just sucks that I can't get the credit for it. You're not gonna stop me. You can't anticipate me. You can't predict me. 